Myocardial infarction is a fancy word which basically means a heart attack. Myo refers to muscle, cardial refers to heart, infarction refers to tissue death. So a myocardial infarction, or an MI, is a condition where some of the heart muscle dies. Let's see how this happens. So the heart's main job is to pump blood around the body, but it needs to pump blood to itself via these coronary arteries. When there's a reduction in blood flow through these coronary arteries, this is termed coronary artery disease or ischemic heart disease. Now, the most common cause of ischemic heart disease is when a fatty fibrous plaque starts to build up. So let's zoom in here on this vessel to have a look. Here what you can see is within the vessel, the coronary artery, is this fatty fibrous plaque that starts to occlude the vessel, so less blood is able to pass through. This leads to a condition known as angina, which we covered in the last video. Angina is when the heart muscle is irritated. This is what causes the chest pain, but there is no muscle death. However, in myocardial infarction, what happens is the top of the plaque gets knocked off, exposing the contents. Platelets start to aggregate around the top of the plaque, which then leads to a clot or a thrombus, and this then stops blood getting past. So we have full occlusion, therefore no blood downstream. This is termed a myocardial infarction. Commonly, there are two types of MI. Number one, STEMI, and number two, NSTEMI. In STEMI, there is a full thickness infarct, which means the whole muscle wall dies, whilst in NSTEMI, it's a partial thickness infarct. As a result, if you looked at the heart with an ECG, which is basically looking at its electrical activity, what we see is an ST elevation. So we see the ST segment elevating, and this is why it's called a ST elevated or a STEMI, whilst in a non-STEMI, we see an ST depression, and this is why it's called a non-ST elevated MI. Finally, because there is muscle cell death in both types, we see an elevated in cardiac enzymes. These cardiac enzymes are released in the blood and include troponin and creatine kinase. So both ECG and the cardiac enzymes is the way that MIs are diagnosed.